Why is the focus on blood glucose not correct? One of the things that we've always been um, taught is that controlling diabetes is about controlling the blood glucose. The real issue though is that the high blood glucose is only a symptom of the disease. It's not the actual disease. That is, the actual disease of type 2 diabetes is one of high insulin resistance, and that's what causes the high blood glucose. As an example, if you have a very bad infection, that will cause the symptom of a fever. So if you simply treat the symptom, then, for example, with a ibuprofen, then the fever will get better, but the infection will not get better, and it'll continue to fester, and then you'll get very sick. What you need to do instead is actually treat the disease with antibiotics, for example, and then the fever will go away automatically as the uh, disease itself gets better. And this is the big mistake we've made in type 2 diabetes, is that we know that this is a disease about high insulin resistance, yet all our treatments are targeted towards lowering blood glucose. So really that's just symptomatic treatment and not treatment of the underlying disease. So a, a um, drug such as insulin, for example, uh, will make people gain weight. That's a very typical side effect. So as you gain weight, insulin resistance tends to also go up. So in fact, your disease process, which is the high insulin resistance, is not getting better, it's getting worse, even as your symptoms are getting better. So you can pretend you're getting better, but the disease itself is getting worse. And clinically, again, that's exactly what you see. If you look at type two diabetes, what happens is that people start with one medication, then after a few years, they go to a second medication, a third medication, then insulin, then more insulin and more insulin. And if you started out taking one medication and you wound up on very high doses of insulin, your diabetes never got better. It only got worse even as the symptom, the blood glucose, remained good. So what you have to really focus on is treating the underlying disease condition, which is the elevated insulin resistance, the elevated insulin levels that go along with it, rather than just the blood glucose.